Hi, I'm Marco Schwartz for Open Home Automation and in this video I'm going to show you how to build your own wireless motion sensor. So if you ever had an alarm system or if you have a friend who has an alarm system in his home then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about these guys. Usually they are quite expensive and actually all they do is to detect motion and to send the information somewhere. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to do the same, at least the same functionalities, using the Arduino platform. So it will consist in two parts. So you will need two Arduino boards, boards as we will see. One will be the transmitter, which will transmit information from the sensor, and the other one will be the receiver, and will receive the data from the sensor. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Let's start the hardware configuration with the receiver part. First, you have to plug the receiver into the breadboard. Then, just take a wire and put it between the data pin of the receiver and the pin number 11 on the Arduino board. Finally, connect the power supply to the Arduino board. Now, the transmitter part. First, just plug in the motion sensor and the transmitter RF module into the breadboard. Then just connect a wire between the Arduino pin number 12 and the data pin of the transmitter. Next step is to connect the out pin of the motion sensor to the Arduino board on pin number 7. Finally, you can just connect the power supplies for all the parts of the system using the 5 volts and the ground of the Arduino board. So before I will show you any code, the most important here is to install this virtual li wire library. So virtual wire will really handle all the communication between um, the transmitter and the receiver modules. So I just tried uh, when I received this uh, small RF modules I will try to just uh, transmit information without any uh, library or without any coding of the, of the data and it was horrible. Like, I received a lot of noise on the receiver and it was impossible to get anything working. So I found out about this virtual wire library, I tried it and I tried also many other libraries to, to do the same. And uh, honestly, that was the best I could find out. So this is the one I will be using in this project. So this is a website of uh, Virtual Wire. And to, to install it, you just have to go down and go to this uh, download link over there. And you just press download. Then you can open the, the zip file. So it should have appeared in my download folder. And now you have this virtual wire um, folder. So you can just copy this folder and go where your Arduino uh, sketches are stored. And if you already inside libraries, you should have this libraries folder. So if you never installed libraries before for Arduino, then you have to create this folder. But I will assume that it's already there. So just go in the folder and just paste a uh, virtual wire. So I already have virtual wire library in my folder, so I will just uh, stop. But basically, once the virtual wire library is in this, in this folder, you can just um, close your Arduino software and start it again. And you will be able to use all the functions from virtual wire. Okay, let's now have a look at the code. And as usual, don't worry, all the code is available uh, on my website, Open Home Automation. And you don't have to worry about the details of the code. I just want to give you a big picture of how the code is organized. So it first starts with this line to include this virtual wire library that I just show you how to install. Then you have the pin definitions. So you have an LED pin that will indicate if your message is received and the receive pin. Oh, by the way, this is a receiver code and both codes for the receiver and the transmitter 
are quite similar, but there are some differences. So the setup of the Arduino board, um, first we leave a delay uh, for the setup. We define uh, the receive pin and this function um, set RS pin is directly, directly comes from the virtual wire library. Then we have a setup and we start uh, the receiver. Now in the loop, what we want to do is to receive the messages from the transmitter board and to decode uh, the message. So I have to initialize these, these two uh, buffer variables and then there is the main part. If we get a message, then first we flash um, the LED light to indicate that the message was received and then we just print uh, the message in the serial monitor of the Arduino board, so we serial.print and we go in this loop, we go through the buffer uh, to print each uh, characters of, um, of the message. And finally, we, we put the LED uh, back to the low state. So this was the receiver code. I will now show you the transmitter code. You can see it's, it's quite similar at the start. Now you have a, a sensor pin because remember we have this um, uh, motion sensor connected to the, to the board. We initialize, this is also quite similar to, to the receiver code. And now the main, the main differences are in the loop, of course. First we get the sensor value via this digital read function from the sensor pin. And basically the sensor just returns uh, the information if motion was detected or not. And if there is something that was detected, the, the pin of the sensor will be to, to a high value and we get this via this digital read function. So now for the message that we want to transmit, I use a very simple message. So it just um, three letters that represent the, the word off. So of course, at this point, I could have just transmitted zero or one because that's, I just want to know if motion was detected or not. But I really wanted to, to try if I could transmit like a full message uh, via this virtual wire um, library. So I just decided to transmit off and if a motion was de detected, I just transmit uh, on the on message. So very basic. Then, whenever I want to transmit something, so every second, that's indicated with this delay of 1000 milliseconds here, I flash my light to indicate that I am transmitted something, and then I just use it, this function send um, from the virtual wire library, and I send this message, and then I put the LED back to low again. So to finish, I'm just going to show you that it actually works. And this is my Arduino environment. And there I have the code for the receiver and the code for the transmitter. And because I'm really interested in what the, the receiver board uh, receives as, a, as messages, I will just open the serial monitor. And you can see that it really receives uh, messages, so this on message. So it always receives this on because I'm currently just in front of the sensor and it's detected me moving in front of the computer. So to finish this video, I wanted to say that there are many ways you can use what you just learned in this video. You can just take it as it is and place the sensor somewhere. But you can also really build um, many projects around this. You can actually connect any sensor to the transmitter part. It can be motion, as in this tutorial, but it can also be uh, a temperature sensor, it can be um, a proximity sensor, it can be anything, really. And at the receiver part, you can do also do much more. You can connect um, an LCD screen to see the information. You can also connect uh, the receiver part to the Arduino uh, GSM shield to send you a message 
on your phone every time some motion is detected. So really, the possibilities are limitless. So this is already the end of this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you, if you do, please comment on the YouTube video and as always, you can find all the details on the Open Home Motivation website. You will find the, the link below.